Other than John Linston, this is advanced plating, and you're the third generation that's I'm been in I'm the third generation. We so are coming. standing where, and what happens here? Uh, we're standing in our uh, Four Street facility. We're in our metal finishing operation, and here we do electric plating on a vast variety of parts. So nothing forged here, nothing is... No, no, we don't make a thing, but we take everybody's product and we apply a metal finish to it that enhances its value. It makes it more corrosion resistant. It makes it more electrically conductive. It makes it harder. Has this plating process changed in 70 years? Oh, tremendous. It has. When environmental regulation hit with the Clean Water Act in 1972, that really forced us to become chemically proficient. We have a lot of demands for water in this industry. You do. And we take good care of our water when we put things in it, we take them back out. Yeah. We're almost a whole order of magnitude below what our permit level is. So if we have the discharge metal at you know two parts per million, that's our permit level, we're at 0.2 parts per million. Wow, so you've got, yeah. At. What is that? This is a coil that goes in a refrigerator. It's part of the cooling system of a refrigerator. Our customer wants us to plate it with tin. You have a bath with the dissolved metal that you're plating in it. Is there anything that I deal with on a daily basis that might have come out of here? You bet. You brushed your teeth, right? I did. All right. In that sink, the plumbing, the faucetry all comes through this industry. When you stumbled into the bathroom and uh -huh. you turned the light on, mm -hmm. all that electricity. Were you at my house? <laughs>